It's not an easy skill to learn. I've been practicing it for many years. What up, my peoples? I haven't been able to get on the bike and make too many videos lately. I've been super busy trying to just get everything done for these next upcoming rides so I can get some real good video content for you guys. I'm doing a moto van conversion. If you kind of hear, I kind of talked about it in some of my other videos. I figured why not just show you guys in case maybe you wanted to do a moto van, you're trying to do something similar to what I'm doing. So I figured it's not really stunt bike, motorcycle, you know, video related stuff, but it's a moto van so you can take your bike around. So I'm going to show you guys what type of stuff I'm doing to it and take you along with me through the process of all the mods and custom stuff I'm going to do to it. Nothing crazy, but enough to get you by to where you'd be able to take your bike with you anywhere. Let's do a quick walk around and I'm going to show you what I've done so far, but I haven't done too much. So I figure better late than never, right? So let's go and I'm going to show you the thing. All right, guys, she's a mess right now because I'm in the middle of so much stuff with this thing. But let's just go ahead and I'm going to show you guys what it's looking like. If you've seen any of my previous videos of like when I unload my bike out the van and stuff, you know that all of this all, you know, was all just like bare wood rough looking panels and stuff so it wasn't too nice i did this speaker carpeting all around the sides around all the trim just to help insulate it and also just make it look better because it looked like shit. obviously the floor is pretty dirty everything's taken apart as you can see i got the engine exposed over there because we're gonna be trying to find the misfire uh issue it's having a misfire on cylinder three um i got my ramp in here there's gonna be power strips so i'm gonna tell you a little bit about what i'm doing I'm trying to make this to where i can camp in here so over here we're gonna have a flip down murphy bed type of thing that i'm gonna be doing so we'll cover that in one video got electrical hooked up let's hop in here so you can see what we got going on. We got a power inverter and some batteries. Uh, that box is the distributor I'm gonna be replacing. Those were just, those aren't the ideal batteries to use, but those are batteries I had laying around in my garage. So they're gonna be jumped together and they're gonna be powered with a, a power up isolator and battery isolator, whatever you wanna call it. Um, it's already mounted there. I made that little battery tray thing just to kind of keep the batteries from moving around. Um, but yeah, like I said, this side over here is gonna have the drive down bed um, we're gonna try to do some LED lighting all around the edges to give us some light power strip is gonna be up there up top uh, we're gonna do a little bit of shelves maybe a TV to flip out right there somewhere on this side we're gonna have all of my gear helmet uh, gloves pads vest all that it's gonna be basically mounted up here and my bike as you can see is gonna go here here I got the wheel chalk right there bike rolls up goes in boom solid I'll be able to sleep next to my bike on this side where we're gonna do the flip down bed but that's what we got going on so far so as you can see we got whoa fall in here breaking my ankle so we got some issues going on there's a misfire in cylinder three so we're gonna be trying to find that issue uh, I got a new distributor here that we're gonna be putting in uh, plug wires spark plugs all of that it's all pretty old so it, hopefully that's just the issue if not it could be fuel related but we will find out so that's what we got going on so far got the headliner done all that so pretty much all I've really done is this carpeting install on the ceiling the walls the trim and the wheel chalk that's here and a bit of the power inverter setup it's not all hooked up yet there's a couple more things i gotta do so yeah she's a little rough right now she definitely needs some work so i figured out show you guys what we're doing with it in case you wanted to do something similar got a little guide or an idea of what you could do with your setup you no know, i've seen other people's van setups and i was jealous because they have such a nice van setups to be able to go out on these rides i want to do the same thing um i've never built a moto van so this is going to be the first time i'm doing it and i'm going to take you guys with me so there'll be like a playlist for all the moto van stuff on the channel uh, we'll keep it separated from the bike stuff but yeah the next video 
video we'll have up is going to be the misfire problem we're going to try to solve because I definitely need to solve that issue before anything. We got to do brakes. We got to do a bunch of stuff, oil change, coolant flush before we start taking this van out of town. So stay tuned to the next video. If you like this, if you're interested in it, if you feel like it's going to be a good little series or anything like that, uh, let me know by liking the video. Don't just like it mentally. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I know there's people that watch and you guys aren't subscribed. So hopefully you like what I do enough to subscribe. Till next time, Ninja Turtle Stunts, I'm out. Peace.